What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Oregon Reel Fishing video. Now this one's going to be a little bit different. Uh, as you can tell I'm not actually fishing right now. And uh, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be talking about some of the best Pacific Northwest fishing YouTube channels out there. I was inspired to do this by Alec. He put out his uh, top 10 fishing YouTubers. Uh, I think his was Oregon specific. Mine is just going to be Pacific Northwest in general. Uh, I do apologize to some of the Washington fishermen. I'm not as familiar with a lot of the small channels there. So this is going to be mostly Oregon, but a couple of Washington mixed in. And I'm going to be ranking these from 1 to 10. Starting with, I think, the most obvious one, Northwest Fishing Secrets. What is going on, you guys? Welcome to another episode. I'm sure all of you are already subscribed to Northwest Fishing Secrets. Uh, he's one of the few guys that can put out a 30 to 40 minute video, and it's just all entertainment. He has great editing, great content. He catches a lot of fish, does a lot of cool stuff, but uh, I think the main thing with him is just his personality. I think people really just watch his channel for his personality, and that's uh, that's what's cool about his channel. But uh, if you're into catching cooks, cold water stuff like salmon, steelhead, trout, sturgeon, stuff like that, this is your guy. Definitely go check him out. In fact, all these channels are going to be linked in the description down below, so go subscribe to all of them. All great guys. My second favorite channel is going to be Northwest Fishing. Guy I've actually gotten to know over this summer, fished with him probably, probably three or four times now, and he actually helped put together the Pacific Northwest YouTuber Tournament. He was a huge help in that. He has some amazing saltwater videos, amazing bass fishing videos, challenges. I mean, he does it all. It's honestly surprising to see that he doesn't have over 100,000 subs. When you watch his videos and you see the, the quality content, the B-roll, the actual challenges he does, this guy deserves a lot more credit and a lot more attention. So definitely go check him out, especially if you're into challenge videos. He does stuff like catching sturgeon on a barbie rod off of a kayak. I don't think anyone else is doing that. This guy is the biggest fish in my life. So definitely go check him out. So number three on my list is PDX Fishing. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening if it's me editing this video later on. <laughs> he uh, does a lot of stuff in the Portland area, a lot of bass fishing, and he's been around for a while. A lot of you guys are probably subscribed to him, but he's just one of the nicest dudes you'll meet, one of the funniest guys you'll meet for sure. I fished with him a couple times now and he's he's definitely a funny guy. But not only that, he catches some crazy fish. So if you're in the Portland area and you're into bass fishing, this is your guy. You definitely want to watch his videos for research, watch him for entertainment. He does a lot of b-roll, drone shots, a bunch of good stuff. So definitely go check out Mondo from PDX Fishing. Number four on my list is PK from Oregon Life. Okay folks, so here we are on the beach. It is pretty early, about 4.30 a.m. and daylight just broke. So let's set up and try to catch some surf perch. PK is actually one of the first Pacific Northwest YouTubers I actually watched. When I moved here from Texas, one of the biggest differences was the coast, coast fishing. Coast fishing was completely different than the Gulf Coast in Texas. So when I researched Oregon coast fishing, of course, PK's videos are the first thing that comes up. I watched probably three or four of his surf fishing videos, went out and actually caught my first surf perch. If you're in need of tutorials for coastal fishing of any kind, whether it's rock fishing, surf fishing, crabbing, anything like that, and he even does catfish, he does trout, lots of different things like that, uh, he's your guy. He's your guy for tutorial videos. He will teach you how to catch fish to the best of your ability. He's actually the one who inspired me to host bass tournaments because I saw him hosting surf fishing tournaments and I actually went to one of his surf fishing tournaments. He's one of the most genuine guys you will meet, one of the most humble guys you will meet for sure. So uh, definitely go check out his channel, especially if you want to learn a thing or two about coast fishing. Number five is one that not nearly enough people have heard of. 
one of my personal favorite channels to watch around here, and that is Boneyard Bassin. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode. He uh, he does a lot of the types of fishing that I like to do, which is largemouth bass fishing in ponds, topwater fishing, stuff like that. But not only is he a great bass fisherman, he is really good with the camera. He does stuff like this. And I mean, I think that speaks for itself, personally. That's the type of stuff that I like to watch. He is actually closing in on a thousand subscribers, so definitely go subscribe to him right now. Link in the description. But yeah, I've been watching him, Mono, and Alec for all, all of them for around a year and a half now. And those three are some of my favorite local channels, for sure. Number six is actually another Washington channel, and that is Fish and Forage. Hello and welcome to Fish and Forage. My name is Zach and today we are fishing for smallmouth freaking footballs. I can't even get this thing in the camera. Such a beast fish. I actually just met Fish and Forage this year. He came to the Westland tournament, competed in that one, and then he also came to the YouTuber tournament. One of the neat things about his channel is variety. He has tons of variety. He does bass fishing, trout fishing, catfish, crawfish, Pretty much anything you're interested in, he does it. And not only fishing, he does a lot of foraging too. If you're into mushrooms, finding mushrooms, I personally don't know anything about that, but uh, he does a lot of that as well. Basically, he has something for everyone, which means he has something for you, so you should definitely go subscribe to his channel. Number seven is Northwest Open Season. Morning guys, Nick and Jerry here with Northwest Open Season. I actually just recently met Nick from Northwest Open Season. Nick actually came to the YouTuber tournament and caught some decent bass there. But these guys do a lot of salmon steelhead, a little bit of bass, lots of shad fishing. So once again, a little bit of everything, but they do more uh, tutorial type stuff. So if you're wanting to learn how to catch fish, these guys show rigs, they show how to fish them. Really good about stuff like that. Number eight is probably the channel I've been watching the longest, like pretty much since the week I moved to Oregon. And that is Scott from Trout Hammer. What is up everyone? Scott the Trout Hammer here and welcome back to some Oregon surf fishing. I actually just met him at the YouTuber tournament as well, but he is the reason I found out about Cheetle Lake, Waverly Lake, bunch of bass ponds in the Willamette Valley area. He does lots of bass fishing, lots of pan fishing, great tutorials, unboxings, stuff like that. Pretty much a little bit of everything and teaches along the way, which I think is one of the best qualities of a fishing channel because a lot of you guys are probably watching fishing videos because you want to learn something. So definitely subscribe to Scott if you're interested in learning about pan fishing, bass fishing, surf fishing, any of that. He gives a lot of great tips and tricks in his videos. And this is the reward. It smells so good, it really does. Try it, take a hit, where are you going? Number nine is addicted fishing. And I know a lot of you are thinking like, wow, how's addicted fishing number nine? Don't they have like 300,000 subs? This isn't actually based off of subscribers. This is just, my personal favorites in a 1 to 10 order. So I put addicted fishing all the way down at 9 just because I don't do as much cold water fishing which is mostly what they do. I'm more of a bass guy as you guys know. But the quality of addicted fishing's videos pushes them into my top 10 for sure. I mean watching an addicted fishing video is like watching a mini documentary or something. It's like watching a Netflix fishing show, you know? If you're into cold water fishing, definitely check them out. They teach you a lot of great stuff along the way. And now on to number 10, we have River Right Outdoors. This is actually a channel that I just found recently. Uh, the guy's name is Travis. He actually came to the West Lynn tournament. Really nice guy, really cool guy. He actually only started YouTube about a year ago. That was his first upload but he's already at almost 4,000 subs, for good reason too. I mean, I haven't watched a lot of his videos yet, but the quality is just 
way up there. Really quality videos, drone shots, stuff like that. And uh, he does a lot of fly fishing, sand fishing, steelhead. So uh, once again, another cold water guy. If you're into cold water fishing, mixed in with some cinematography, definitely go check him out. But yeah, everyone will be linked in the description. Uh, hope you guys found a few new local fishermen that you hadn't heard of before. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you on the next one.